Do you have trouble reaching stuff in your laundry room? Well, how about building this really nice, slim rolling laundry cart that fills the gap between your washer and dryer and puts all of your essentials right at hand. This is a super easy, super convenient build and let's show you how we did it. We started by making all the cuts for this build. This is a pretty simple project. So it's got three shelves, a front, a back, and some trim for each of the shelves to make sure your stuff doesn't slide off. That means it's not a whole lot of cuts and it's not too big a deal. These were all simple straight cuts and then we were able to put it together. To do that we used the brand new Craig 720 Pro pocket hole jig. This has become our new favorite tool in the shop. The 720 Pro has a lot of really cool features, starting off with the thickness gauge. This lets you determine the exact thickness of your wood and set your stop collar to match that. Once you have the stop collar on your drill bit ready to go, put it in your drill and you lock your piece into the pocket hole jig. Thanks to their Automax clamping system, this is super easy to do. The Automax clamping system is my favorite part of the new Craig 720 Pro. It makes it really easy to swap boards in and out, switch them, move them around, slide them side to side so that you can put your pocket holes exactly where you need them to go. It's very effortless and it makes it easy on your hands. There's also Grip Max technology on the back of the jig, which makes it easy to keep your boards in place and you don't have to worry about them sliding around. There's also a very stable base with the docking station, so this is really the perfect way to drill your pocket holes. Once all our holes were drilled, we sanded and it was time for stain. We used a golden oak stain that matched everything else that was going on in our laundry room. We were going for a modern boho feel, so we wanted to have a nice, earthy, bright tone in the room. After the stain was dry, it was time to add the trim pieces to the edge of each shelf. For this we used wood glue and clamps, it was that easy. These trim pieces we cut down to quarter inch by quarter inch, we laid them on the edge of each shelf, then used clamps to hold them down. These trim pieces are going to keep anything from rolling off your cart. You shouldn't really be yanking the cart out quickly and side to side anyway, so it shouldn't really matter, but the trim pieces are there just to keep everything in place. We did this on each shelf, used a clamp in three different places, and then we repeated that for all three of the shelves. Now it was time to put everything together. We started off by putting the first shelf flush with the bottom of the front piece. We used our pocket hole driver to drive the pocket hole screws in, and then we measured for the brand of soap that we generally use. We made sure that each shelf was spaced out enough to have room to hold our biggest bottle and also have room to pull it out. Turns out this was about a foot in between each of the shelves, and that gave us enough room on the top shelf that it wouldn't break the plane so we wouldn't hit the countertop that we were putting in later. Once all the shelves were in place on the front, we flipped it over and attached all the shelves with pocket holes onto the back piece as well, and then we were ready to go. We added casters on the bottom. Make sure if you're using casters on a tile floor, you use rubber casters. Ask me how I know. Now this slides smooth and easy. We also added a cabinet pull that matched the gold hardware in some of the other parts of the room just to give it something easy to pull out and a little bling. We absolutely love how this laundry cart turned out. It fits right between our washer and dryer and right under our cabinet. This was a perfect project for the space we had. It makes it easy to grab all the things we need, keep everything organized, pull it in and push it out. It's tucked away so nobody can see our junk. For more about this project and the rest of the projects in our Boho laundry room, check out charlestoncrafted.com.